surrogate? Who are you? What are you doing? What are you doing to this country? We know very well that powerful women fight for the country to be well. You should have started fighting for human rights that are lacking in this country. your words. They had tables in his home. When he has nothing to do with the had tables anymore, he won the case. Why should he touch the had tables? We are asking him. Only those people who are bent to bring down Hakaine Hichilema would be interested in abducting the had tables. So that they have They want the Hatemos to be dead. Then they pick a church to say you are the one who held the Hatemos in your house. Therefore, you are the one who has killed them. And therefore, we are going to charge you for murder. We know it. That's what you want to do. And we will not let you do it. Shame. Shame. Are you really a politician to be used like that? We are going to bring now a, a, a female president in our midst. Look at you. Look at the way you are messing up things. Why? Why are you doing this? You are going to change it. Now, answering your short temple. What are you saying? I'm even laughing because you are not a politician to me. You are a puppet. How can you say that Hakalinde uh, is faking? He's faking his uh, house arrest. What is that? What is that? Are you, true, are you a true politician? Do not confuse the people of, of this country. Let me remind you, Sean, that Hakalinde has been put on house arrest several times if you want to hear me. But he has come out. He moves. Because he's found that he's got no case with anybody. And he's a Zambian. No rights can be taken away from him. He's been moving. He's been cycling. He's been going wherever he wants to go. But however, the police are always on him. Sean, are you aware that President Hakainde Hichilena wanted to go to the Copper Belt to go and mourn our youth chairman. Do you even know how many policemen came to, take, to tell him you are not going anywhere? Do you realize that? What do you call that? What do you call that? It is us who come and see you out of that office. Yes, yes. You understand? So some are you. But radio station. If that's not a that's not a thing to, to laugh at. That's a very serious issue. I expect the former Minister of Finance to be concerned that this country can can pay, can spend. 17 million US dollars to buy expired drugs and the other medical software to come and kill our people. Because that's what it means if you buy expired drugs uh, to be consumed by our people. I expected Ms. Nawaku to be concerned about the latest development of sacks and sacks of cash cast displays on our social media and everywhere by the patriotic front. Sure, as former minister of finance, shouldn't she be concerned? What is happening? It means our treasure is being ransacked. 
and she goes to support the people who are carrying out such illegal and uh, uh, despicable acts. That's not all. The former Minister of Finance should be concerned that we have got a national debt that has skyrocketed to 104% of our GDP, unprecedented. And the former Minister of Finance is quiet on such things, instead goes to support those who have plunged this country into such a national debt. My Nawakwe, I would like to say that your agenda is seemingly so personal and becoming an unacceptable. As women, we should practice respectable politics like our predecessors did. We have women who have been in politics in Zambia, such as Mama Kankasa, Mrs. Christine Murundika, Dr. Inonge Bikusita Lewanika, Mama Betty Chirunga, etc. As you PNG women and the Zambian women at large, we are saying to Ms. Nawapi, as the first woman Minister of Finance, it is very disappointing to see you lower yourself to a surrogate of male politicians who are using you. We object to politics of personal attacks. As mothers, we want to see an improvement in the welfare of our children. Now look at who's in our we are fed up and tired of this nonsense of yours in this country. What this is this a market if it has mine from the people? What this is this a market if it has mine now? Tienda na manyazi, monga tu imadiseche, tienda mananyazi, chifuka chayiwe. Now I will come back. Yachi yachi sanga kare leader, wame na bisaban. Manja you as a good leader, why you tita depend on chipan chapi ev? Because FDD is not a political party, it is a branch. You are a branch chairman, you. Chari. You are a branch chairperson. So, therefore, not to fool us, we no win on our own. H H, Sam, not to fool me. Just to make no rush. H H, to fool H H, Sam, not to fool me. For me, no reason to invest. Sam, not to fool Epo. Now, you are over the H H. To fool us, it is Ziba. We don't know the reason why every day we come back about H H. Every day, sometimes I get to wonder. Now, for one week, we Sam will not carry H H. Then, is that about? We change the name of the church to Sam Zibo. We H H. Ngati mankala zi one week, two weeks, mufu na plan yu inangu, yoka mba kuti echi echi ajitayiti. Echi echi ni mwana wa mtu, wana badwa kumuntu, wana nyonka muziba. Na wapu, stop playing with echi echi. What is your interest in echi echi? Stop playing with echi echi, please echi echi. It's somebody's husband. But na wapu, echi echi is somebody's husband na papa da. Echi echi is not like humble law. Echi echi is not like humble law.